So what will happen? Heroes. Now, there is a problem with heroes. While they're wonderful and they can get things off the ground, as I said, they're actually up and running again within a very short time and, and full capability within 12 weeks. It was just tremendous. But there's a problem with heroes and the heroes work individually. Heroes make decisions on the spot. Um, heroes don't consult on their decision. Suddenly just somebody comes in and says, here's your new system. Uh, this is what we've done. Start working on it, give some feedback. Um, so heroes form their own hierarchy of power, if you like, within what they do. Now that's not putting them down. This is a whole organization full of heroes, people who actually did everything. If you went in there probably on a, on a Sunday afternoon, you might find half the, half the organization, this is a government organization, half of them there at work actually trying to get things up and running again. The tremendous effort by everybody was fabulous. So, but that's when I came in. Um, so when I arrived, uh, we were looking at nine DevOps teams and three high, very high profile projects on the way. Uh, and the problem was, as I said before, it is the culture. Trying to get around that culture is very, very difficult. Um, and at this stage, it was that culture of we've been there, we've done that, and it worked. You know, we were able to do this now. It worked. So why should we change? And that is a problem. Uh, you get that um, uh, difficulty of trying to get people to take a look at something new. Now, I was the only coach in that whole organization, that whole government department. And we had three officers through New Zealand, and I was asked to um, come up or organize the whole organization through to uh, being agile. Um, so, what do we get? We get um, a, a different culture. When I say culture, by the way, there is that old government culture that you hear about and you see in perhaps some of the old movies where no work is done. You know, and everybody goes on to morning tea at, at, at nine o'clock and then comes back at 3 p.m. It's not that type of culture. This government department was excellent. Um, it had that protectors um, of people and protectors of things. They didn't want to let anybody else in. Let's give you an example. I came in on my first day and the um, CDO and the person that I report to underneath the CDO was um, bringing everybody in the organization together to meet Steve Peacock. And who turned up? Nobody. So a meeting was called to introduce me and, and let them know, um, you know that I was there to help. Not one single person turned up. That was the culture. Now, there's a lot of reasons for that, many, many reasons. One of them is this thing called confirmation bias. A confirmation bias says, oh, agile, I know what that is. We're already doing it, that sort of idea. Uh, the other one is that um, uh, a backfire type of bias. Now, backfire bias means that if you ask somebody to do something and they believe something else, they will believe that something else more strongly now because you've asked them to take a look at something different. So it, it's, it's an awkward one. And then you've got something called imposter syndrome where people come along to work and they've been told how good they are. And they've been told they're an expert in their own particular area. And if somebody else comes in, they feel that they will find out that all they're doing is, is their normal everyday work and they're not really an expert. When in fact, actually, that very fact that they feel that they can do their work readily means that they now are an expert in what they're doing. So it's a, it's a different biases that we have in there. And one of the biggest problems was that when I came in, um, you know, I've been doing organizational change in different organizations um, for many, many years, for almost 30 years now. And the problem that I found in this one is that nobody needed to listen to me. Uh, I didn't have a position of power. I didn't have any specific title apart from consultant. 
Uh, I didn't have anything in there that says anybody had to listen to me at all. So if I walked into a team and said, hi, I'm Steve, I'm here as an agile coach. Um, how are you going? That would be the reason to actually turn away and not want me at all. So <laughs>